Hello, I'm Stephen Wolfram, and in just a little while here, we'll begin the process of getting ready to make Wolfram Alpha live for the first time. Um, it's been uh, a long process, many years. Um, it's uh, a very complicated thing that, uh, that we're doing here. Um, there's been so much interest in the last uh, couple of weeks in what we're doing, though, that we decided to really open it up to the world um, and to actually uh, let people see uh, live in a webcast um, what happens as we get ready to launch Wolfram Alpha. And uh, to help me with that process, I have here my longtime colleague, Theo Gray. Yeah, this is really quite an unusual thing that we're doing. We're going to show you live on TV uh, the process of taking this very large, complicated software system running on thousands of CPUs in multiple data centers, uh, and we'll show you the moment and the process required to bring this live to the world. Uh, as far as we know, this has never been tried before, and it's quite possible that uh, in the process we'll learn why it's not been done before. Um, but in any case, whatever happens, you're going to be able to see it live. Uh, and to help uh, with that process, I brought in my longtime collaborator, Max Whitby, a scientist and filmmaker from England, who is going to be your host during this event. Well, my job is going to be, I hope, to ask intelligent questions. I have not been involved in the development of Wolfram Alpha. I'm extremely excited to be seeing what's taking place over the coming 48 hours or so. Um, and I'll be uh, observing what is really uh, walking around the building, the launch center here, rather like a mission control for a space shot. Um, Stephen, can you tell us what some of the people here are going to be doing over the next 48 hours and what some of the technical milestones are? So we, we've, uh, in, in the last little while, we've been finishing the actual code of Wolfram Alpha. We've been getting ready to deploy it across uh, a large number of uh, compute clusters, uh, getting ready to have the network be live to the world. Um, what's going to be happening is, is mostly uh, testing what's going on, um, perhaps fixing some, some last minute uh, problems, um, and then actually kind of uh, somewhat metaphorically throwing the switch and, and uh, opening the doors. Yes. Yeah. yes. And, and you will actually will be seeing queries coming in from the world at large. Um, do you have any experience of that? I mean, has there been any large-scale testing that's taken place in the last few months? So we, we've simulated as much as we can about uh, what will happen when queries come in at uh, all sorts of different rates, uh, exactly what it might look like if, uh, if we're overwhelmed with queries and the system starts melting down, what we think it will be like in kind of normal operation and so on. We did one kind of flicker test where we uh, briefly made uh, one of our small test clusters um, actually live to the world. Actually, we were using that test cluster also to do a, another load test at the same time. And people but found was, their way in? To it was, it was mm. quite remarkable. In a matter of about 10 minutes, uh, 3,000 people found their way in and uh, uh, 18,000 queries uh, ran by in a very short amount of time. Actually, those queries are very useful. You'll probably see them uh, being replayed many times as we uh, do final load testing, getting this whole system ready to launch. And Teo, I believe here in this building, we actually have one of the computational clusters that the Wolfram Alpha is going to be running on. One of the larger clusters is here, uh, 3,800 CPUs, I believe, uh, occupying most of the available power and air conditioning capacity of a fairly large data center. Um, and that's one of five centers, uh, approximately 10,000 CPUs altogether, able to handle thousands of queries per second. I think if we do melt down uh, when we go live, it will not be for lack of effort or, or any sort of naive uh, idea of how many queries we might get. It will be because of overwhelming response. Uh, and hopefully we will, in fact, be able to handle the traffic that comes in. There's uh, about 150 people in this building, many steps that need to go right for the launch to be successful. What are you worried about, Teo? What am I not worried about? There are so many things that could go wrong in this process, from you know, software configuration. Um, it's a very intricate, complicated system. The servers could go down. Uh, just to add a little spice, the weather report right now is saying there's thunderstorms predicted. Uh, in this part of the country, we get power failures all the time during thunderstorms. You know, there's, there's just an amazing number of things that could go wrong. And whatever it is that goes wrong, you're going to get to see it you know, live as it happens. So, Stephen, are you confident? This, I've been uh, thinking about doing this project for many decades. There have been many times when it looked uh, to be completely impossible. Every, uh, we've uh, managed to uh, surmount every obstacle. We'll get the thing launched.